Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn assignment operator. On many occasion, you use assignment operator to assign value or to evaluate values of two operand. The assignment operator is really very straightforward. As the name implies, assignment operator assign a value to the variable. So we recall the previous lecture where we use assignment operator to assign value to the variable and we also use it in many expressions. In the past lectures, we use assignment operator to assign value to the variable. You can use assignment operator to assign value to the object and array also. We also showed you how to use chaining system to assign value to the variable like this. j is equal to x is equal to 40. But the assignment operator is not as limited as you are thinking of. Using assignment operator, you can do arithmetic and bitwise operation. So let's take an example with some feature of assignment operator to minimize your code. The following shorthand operator would be convenience when you are working with the arithmetic and bitwise operator. So this is the arithmetic operator. The following is the example of arithmetic addition. For example, if you have two operand and you wanted to first add them and assign its value to the first operand, then the code would be look like this. x is equal to x plus y. So this statement will add two operand and assign its value to the first operand. So if we declare two variables here x and y, so I will say let x is equal to 10, comma y is equal to 5. And we use the simple addition operator here. So I will say x is equal to x plus y. And when we print variable x on the console, the result would be 15. Now using assignment operator, you can perform the same operation just like this. I will just comment this statement and after that I will say x specify the addition operator and just after that specify the assignment operator and the y variable. So this statement equivalent to the previous one. So this statement first perform the addition and then assign the value to the first operand. It is equivalent to the previous statement. So when you execute this statement, the value would be 15. So it will first perform the addition of two operands and specify the new value to the first operand. Right? Next, we also have a subtraction assignment operator like this. x minus equal to y. We also have a multiplication assignment operator like this. Then we also have a division assignment operator and we also have a reminder assignment operator, right? Now the assignment operator is not limited for the arithmetic operators, but using assignment operator, you can perform bitwise operator also. Here is the example. So this is the bitwise left shift assignment operator. Now this is the bitwise right shift assignment operator. Then we have right shift zero fill assignment operator. Then we also have a bitwise and assignment operator. Then we have bitwise or assignment operator. And at the last, we have bitwise ZOR assignment operator, right? That's it. We know that how to use assignment operator in the program. When you are making a thousand line of code, then the shorthand operator is very helpful to minimize your code. I hope this tutorial is helpful to you. I have asked a question in the comment. Answering that question 
will help you to understand this topic properly. That is all for this lecture. We will see you in the next tutorial.